Braemar was built in the early 1990s as a new generation of small cruise ship for Crown Cruise Line. Entering service as the Crown Dynasty, she had stints with Cunard Line, Norwegian Cruise Line, Majesty Cruises and even Commodore Cruise Line before finally being acquired by Fred Olsen in 2001. Fred Olsen have continually upgraded and enhanced the ship, including a significant refit and lengthening in 2009. Hi, I'm Chris Frame. I write maritime history books and lecture aboard cruise ships about maritime history. I also make YouTube videos on the topics of maritime history and cruising. If that sounds like the sort of thing you're interested in, please feel free to subscribe. After her last refit, I was fortunate to visit the Braemar while alongside in Southampton. From the moment I stepped aboard, I felt a strong sense of affection for the ship. She has a friendly and warm onboard ambience, and all the Fred Olsen staff that I talked to were friendly and professional. With Braemar set to return to cruising in early 2022, I wanted to share with you the five things that I really liked about Braemar. Number one, Braemar has a great amount of open deck space. When the Braemar first entered service as the Crown Dynasty, she was heralded as having a good amount of open deck space for a ship of her size. This significant open deck area stretches from the bow of the ship right down to the stern, with open deck areas offering superb views from multiple vantage points. When Fred Olsen stretched the Braemar in 2009, her open deck areas were expanded giving an even greater sense of space on board the ship. Updates also included adding deck space to the forward bow area, which provides extra space for sports such as shuffleboard and quoits. The decks are finished in a faux wood style, with a design that looks like real wood, though it is made from the same manufactured plastics found on many cruise ship decks these days. It does have the added advantage, however, of not requiring any trees to be cut down. The open decks have plenty of space to enjoy sailaways and outside entertainment. On the top deck, there are two large swimming pools, they are both served by a nearby bar, allowing you to enjoy a drink by the pool. Number two, there's lots of meal choices. For a smaller ship, there are certainly plenty of choices for where you'd like to eat on board the Braemar. I was really impressed with the Palms Cafe. The Palms Cafe is located at the aft end of the ship and opens up into an outdoor eating and bar area. The Palms Cafe is a casual space and it has plenty of buffet food available and tables of a variety of sizes and shapes. This means that diners can choose to eat alone with a partner or join a larger group. There's a buffet service area in this restaurant with crew on hand to help bring you your food to your table and clean up after you. There are also drinks machines which are in operation throughout the day to keep passengers well hydrated during their cruise. The ship's main restaurant is the Thistle restaurant and it is located on main deck 4. This restaurant offers a formal dining experience and is available for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Other areas on board the ship where you can grab a bite include the Grampian restaurant, which is smaller than the Thistle restaurant, but has some nice nautical touches and large round portholes. A grill is found on Lido deck, and it provides Braemar passengers with an extra tariff option. This includes a specialty grill style menu, with the restaurant offering superb views over the stern of the ship. A popular meal time activity on board the Braemar is afternoon tea. It's actually one of the most popular activities on board the ship. Tea is hosted in the observatory, a large forward facing bar, which is above the bridge. This was one of the areas that was added to the ship during the 2009 refurbishment. Here, a traditional afternoon tea service is offered with sweeping views over the bow of the vessel. Number three, Braemar has multiple entertainment venues. For a ship of her size, she punches above her weight in this area as well. The Braemar has a number of entertainment options on board. The ship has two main show lounges, the Neptune Lounge and the Coral Club. The Neptune Lounge is the ship's primary show lounge and it is here where you'll be able to watch the larger scale production shows which are hosted in this area after dinner. The Neptune Lounge has plenty of terraced, comfortable seats and a bar service that allows audiences to enjoy a drink while watching the show. There's a live band and a dance floor in this lounge, making this a multi-purpose space. Windows surrounding the lounge make it a bright and airy space during the day. The second main lounge is called the Coral Club. It is located at the aft end of the ship and is slightly smaller than the Neptune Lounge. The Coral Club also has a large dance floor and a stage for live music. Again, there is plenty of windows to offer a view outside during the day. Having two main lounges mean that there's several entertainment options for guests to choose from, particularly important for the after dinner evening entertainment. In addition to the lounges, Braemar also offers plenty of venues for daytime activities, including a library, which we'll talk about later, a card room, shops, cafes, and a fitness center. Number four, the ship has lots of different cabin categories to suit a variety of different budgets. The top accommodation can be found in the ship's suites. These rooms are large, spacious, bright and airy. Suites feature a queen size bed, a separate living area, a lounge area, a nook for making tea and coffee and ensuite bathroom. There's also a private balcony and large windows that provide lots of natural light. 
The standard outside cabins also provide lots of natural light. They offer either a window or twin portholes which illuminate the area. The rooms were upgraded during a recent refit, which enhanced the quality of the carpets, drapery and upholstery. There are also inside cabins, which are kept bright and airy thanks to good lighting. Another great feature of the Bremer are the dedicated single cabins on board. There's options with both a window and without a window. All cabins have access to ensuite bathrooms, powerpoints, flat panel TVs and a cabin attendant. Number 5. The ship's got a library. Now I might be a bit biased as an author, but I really do like it when a ship has a library. I was impressed to see that despite the size of Bremer, there is a proper library on board the ship. It's quite large and spacious. Within the library, there's plenty of comfortable seating areas. Cruisers can find a quiet area here to relax and read a book, while this is also a great area to go if you wish to use the ship's Wi-Fi service in a quiet space that isn't your cabin. The library is decorated in a traditional style that makes it feel like a real, proper library, and it also offers a unique ambience on board where travellers can get away from the hustle and bustle of the normal shipboard life. So those are the five things that I liked most about the Bremer, but what about you? Have you cruised on the ship before? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're interested in more of my top 5 favourite lists, check out my top 5 playlist. Thanks once again for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you on board.